basketball players in history. She's won two NCAA championships, four WNBA championships, and five Olympic gold medals for Team USA. She's incredible. She's now the subject of a new documentary that's available on Apple TV, Prime Video, Voodoo, and Wolf on Demand. It's called Sue Bird in the Clutch. Please welcome Sue Bird. <laughs> Like, you're from here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I'm just moved here. Originally from Long Island, so yeah. shout out Syosset. Yeah. Um, went to high school at Christ the King, which is in Queens. Yeah. So, and now I'm back home as well. Yeah. Yeah, feels good. So, I, you're engaged to Megan Rapino, soccer legend as well. You're both legends. So, so, what's the most, like, retired thing you think you've done so far? Um, we actually did start a production company, but oh. I think the most retired thing we've done is just smash donuts. Yes. I mean, what's your the favorite? amount of donut? I'm classic. A, yeah, same. Okay. I'm a classic dessert girl, but there yeah. is like a near our, our apartment, like a, a glazed maple glazed mm. croissant. Oh my god, donut my mouth just watered. Yeah, that is just phenomenal. Oh my yeah, god, killing donuts. So, uh, but what what about the the Olympics and everything? Like, how, I mean, that was five. I just said five times. That's yeah. incredible. Thank like you. this documentary is covering like one of the greatest athletes you've ever had. Like, what is that like, like watching this documentary back? Oh my gosh, well the Olympics are amazing. I know you're gonna get a taste of that I know, that I'm going, soon. yes, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got Berlin. some tips if you need some. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Olympics is, you know, to be honest, what's really cool about the doc is that it obviously goes through my career. It's a little bit of a history lesson as well. Yeah. And for me as a young girl, there was no WNBA to dream, to yeah. dream of playing in. So it was yeah. the Olympics. So when I think of the Olympics, that was like my ultimate goal. So yeah. even the first time I got the call saying I made that team in 2004, I mean, it, it, it's, I can't even, ugh, it's, yeah. I'm not, like getting butterflies thinking about it. And now, I mean, how do you feel? Like, I feel like, like, especially for my daughter, I'm so excited she's nine and like nobody in our family plays like basketball, does anything like that. And she's like obsessed with basketball right now. Really? And for girls, for young girls, it's so cool. Cause I think more people are going and more excited about watching the women's in a lot of cases rather than men's, which never happens. That's like new. Yeah. How does that feel? Well, are you a little bitter? Cause that, <laughs> wait. I always say I'm like, the 43 yeah. year old me yeah. loves it. Yeah. So excited. She she wishes a little bit she was 21 right now. Yeah. She didn't get back in there. I know, yeah. but you know what? It, because of you, because of people like you is is why that's happening for these younger athletes. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. I think yeah. that's that's how it works, right? Yeah. Like someone has to pay, somebody did it before me. Yeah. I got that baton, I carried as far as I could, and yeah. now it's on the next generation. Um, but it is exciting. Yeah, thank you. It, um, it is exciting to see what women's college basketball is doing. All those yeah. players are gonna be in the WNBA soon. Yeah. So it's just gonna keep growing. Yeah, and it's so cool, like like I said, just to have a, not only a little girl, but I have a little boy that watches that too. And that he's that just makes as excited, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they, it's a norm for them, mm -hmm. which was not even for me growing up, right? So, well, the documentary, it covers the entire last season, right, of yours? Yeah, so interestingly enough, went in thinking, okay, I might retire, let's try to follow this season. Yeah. That was 2021. And then on my, la my very last game, um, the fans in Seattle, I played for the Storm my whole career, they chanted, one more year. And I was like, well, now I gotta come back. So uh, how do you say no to that? Like, okay. Yeah. yeah, so I actually came back for what was my eventual final year, 2022. And because that took a little bit of a turn, I added that year, the doc actually covers my final year through that lens, but then it does give you a glimpse into the making of, if you will, of my entire career. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Well, you started a company, like you said, in retirement yeah. with your partner. So, like, what what is the company? What do y'all want to do? What do you want to achieve with it? Yeah, so there's actually two companies that I'm involved in. Okay. One with Megan. It's called A Touch More. That's more production company, hopefully, like, scripted, unscripted, docs, you name it. Yeah. Um, then there's another one called Together that I started with um, Alex Morgan, Simone Manuel, Chloe Kim. Yeah. There's the crew. Um, and that one is similar in that it wants to tell stories of, of women, um, women of color, uh, women's athletes, those that up until recently, to be honest, up yeah. until the craze around college basketball, we just didn't hear a lot about these stories. Not they, at all. Right, and they need to yeah. be told. So that's yeah. kind of the, the genesis. Yeah, I think this is so cool and it's so important. Well, Sue Bird in the Clutch is out now. You can stream it on Apple TV, Prime Video, Voodoo, and Wolf on Demand.